What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back for another quick look video at a Tenogen skin. And I didn't really realize this up until now, but I have not done any quick looks for Oberon yet. So uh, we'll get in and we will do that today. I was actually hoping to build uh, or kind of rebuild my like end game Oberon kind of design. And I was like, well, let me maybe play around some fashion frame, maybe get into a Tenogen skin and, uh, you know, create a new, you know, fashion frame kind of deal for my endgame over on. And sure enough, I was like, wait a minute, they got these Tenogen skins and I haven't shown any of these for quick look. So let's do that today. We have the blue, white and blue over on. You guys know I love white and blue. Uh, one of my main fashion frame designs for the my over on when I decide to run them. Um, I like running over on for a number of different missions. Uh, he's pretty versatile in terms of mission types, but anyways, I've been doing like a survival Kuva fortress stuff for Kuva and whatnot with Oberon. It works out pretty good. But anyways, uh, we're gonna take Oberon today and let's check out the Oberon Yokai skin by Hitsusan. So Hitsusan, of course, you guys probably know at this point, um, I really enjoy Hitsusan's work. I have a few of Hitsusan skins already in the game and the aesthetic really seems to suit me in a lot of the designs. So I really like checking these out and going through with it. Um, however, the other two that are available for Oberon at this point in time, um, I also have purchased their skins for uh, in the past. Uh, so I'm really trying to figure out uh, by doing these three quick look videos, uh, there will be more in the future when more Oberon skins comes out, is to really decide which one I'm going to buy for this new Oberon build. Um, in the future, I'll probably own all three because I'd like all three, but uh, this current one, this endgame one, um, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking about uh, picking one up today. So anyways, we're jumping in over on Yokai. Look at this design, white and blue. You guys know, like I said, I love my white and blues, and there's a good reason for it. A lot of designs come across super well with kind of a white and blue or kind of a light, light gray and blue kind of design. Uh, and this one is no exception. This looks phenomenal, in my opinion. The silver metallics oh, just look fantastic. Uh, in the helmet, looks great. In these uh, Oberon pieced shoulder pieces, look fantastic. And you've got little pieces, uh, you know, strewn throughout the arms, the legs, uh, down here around the feet, and the little sash type thing everywhere, all over this place. So really, really like it. Um, and of course the line work on this skin is going to be fantastic but let's jump over to another design forgive the attachments i don't don't really pull these uh from my fashion frame uh, just because you know it takes too much time to go back and forth but this is kind of this was like my original design um stayed true to kind of the orican palette and ooh, swapping over looking beautiful once again we have you know kind of a light gray a little bit darker of a gray this yellow um, metallic color which typically rose gold is down the avenue that i i like to go more but the vibrant yellow on on this looks really good it sets uh you know a a, a good strong primary color to the uh, the frame so actually like this quite a bit. I could, of course, kind of stray towards the rose gold. You could as well, if that's more your taste. But I kind of like the vibrancy for whatever reason with this skin. So uh, looking absolutely fantastic. So we'll jump over to the C slot. Something a little bit different. It's going to be, instead of like white and blue, we got like a white and teal. And when this one transfers over, we're getting into kind of that emerald warrior kind of look, that design. Uh, no attachments on this one yet. Um, this was one that I just kind of color schemed out for my, you know, original Oberon. I was like, all right, I, I'm going to work with this at some point. And uh, I just never really got around to it. Um, just lack of time. But here we are transferring this color scheme over and it looks gorgeous. So, of course, like I said, line work. We have a symmetrical look with the skin. We have this cool, intricate design up here above the chest, uh, which looks pretty cool. Uh, of course, we got this really ornate, just 
intricate design that goes on all throughout little swirls and and type of stuff you know curvatures just beautiful um lots and lots and lots of time and effort to sculpting this putting detail in uh, of course for uh the these tenogen skins uh, to make these really stand out really look awesome this whole back piece just in general it's tons of lines um it's shame to kind of cover some of this stuff up too when you put us like a cyanidana on it or some chest pieces or arm pieces or whatever um so a lot of times i just don't um like for this i probably won't put a chest piece on because i already i already like what's there um the arm pieces um it is oberon and i feel like these are really really good arm pieces so unless i design maybe like a like a samurai designed oberon i don't think i would put a put a piece up here i don't know i don't know i'd really have to get a a design or an aesthetic going before i would pull off the design that is already here because it's so good so anyways but uh, let's keep going uh got a lot to get through i have lots of oberons actually because i i really do like oberon um this one is kind of my uh this one's based on the fey arc skin um it runs exclusively like a fey arc design and this darker kind of aesthetic I love I think this thing looks absolutely awesome so kind of this dark skin uh, we'll go see what happens whoa that transfers over real well that's cool that's really cool I like that a lot uh, very like dark with this real bright kind of sandyish color I don't know why but I think it goes together so so well I love that love that take a little spin around the back yeah so good very 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 good so Jump over to the B slot. This was something a little bit more, I don't know, uh, midnight like. I don't know, a little bit of a darker Halloween ish, maybe. But see what happens when transfers. Eh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that to really come over all that well. It's literally just maroon on maroon on maroon. It's, it's kind of strange. Um, potentially putting like a, like a, like a light or, or like a light gray, and maybe a, yeah, like a dark gray in there would work. Uh, that's the one I just did. Let's see. Maybe swapping out this to be like a black or... Oh, oh that actually looks really cool. So, yeah, I've, I've, I might play around with this design eventually in the future, but let's, you know, that's, that's not a good transfer. So, this one, um, like an autumn, I kind of thought like, oh, well, you know, the leaves and the, the design for... For Oberon, you know, the nature druid kind of design. Uh, what if it was like fall when the leaves are dying? So I kind of came up with this. When it transfers over, oh, well, that's kind of that's kind of neat. A little bit uh, too much. Like, uh, it's just, I don't know, too much of one thing, I guess. A spectrum of between orange or yellow and orange and just having every color be that in that spectrum. Ugh, not quite, but... I don't know i thought that looked uh, kind of cool so jump over to my other oberon my very first oberon ever kind of a paladin kind of theme that i kind of went with here like a like a nature-based druid paladin i don't know so bringing that over um oh that looks pretty good actually that looks pretty good almost like dynasty-esque we'll say um yeah i like that i like that quite a bit it might be a little bit too much. That is a very vibrant color right there, the metallic. So maybe too much. Maybe water that down a little bit. But it was overall not bad. Um, this one, kind of strange and abstract. But we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, not so much. I think I kept this because um, I liked just keeping in mind how the colors, like, transfer. You see what it, it like, fades into the yellow? The brown fades into the yellow. Uh, the C one does that a well as well. It's a very like feminine blue and pink kind of color scheme, but you can see how it fades into the blue. And I wanted to work with this. I wanted to work with that in mind to kind of play around with the skin. But let's just see what happens when we take this and transfer. Oh, that's surprisingly not so bad. Um, a little strange and abstract. I probably wouldn't run it, but you know, it's not. That's not ugly. It's definitely out there definitely different but all right so jump over uh this one this kind of plays with the well actually it is the original fey arc 
uh, default color scheme, it plays with the default colors and incorporated it into the Cyandana, which is kind of looks like a big leaf in my opinion. So kind of playing on that fall themed uh, Fey arc design. But anyways, uh, this would be a good opportunity to take a look at the Yokai skin in its default color scheme, which once again looks just fantastic. Um, I could definitely see myself running this skin in its default color scheme because I think it looks super, super good. But yeah, there it is in, in its default color scheme glory. Very, very cool. So uh, we'll jump over. B slot. See what happens. Oh, kind of a green theme. A very vibrant, maybe early spring kind of color scheme. Ooh, whoa. That's kind of kind of neat. Maybe too much. Maybe too much. The green is very vibrant, but it's an interesting kind of design. Uh, maybe play around with it. Maybe change up the green in terms of its uh, if it needs to be watered down or, you know, dull, I guess. But And then, ooh, like a watery uh, druidic kind of design. Ooh. That comes across really, really good. Um, similar to my white and blue, original white and blue design, but colors in different spots, and the colors are a little different. Uh, dark blue, of course, uh, being in there, but uh, looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Um, of course, feel free to stop the video and, and copy down any of the colors that you, uh, you see. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and show off every single one. Uh, we already saw this one, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and do all that, but... Something very abstract. Uh, I like the vibrancy just because it turned people's heads. It's really not a good fashion frame, but <laughs> it was there just to kind of be, it's just to kind of stand out. But anyways, transferring that over. Uh, doesn't look the greatest. Uh, I won't lie, though. I do like this metallic. It's a really strange metallic color. And I think it actually goes kind of well with the dark blue. Um, but everything else I think would need to go. But I don't know. It's, it would be a good start, but... Anyways, um, jump over. Uh, this was a little chameleon. Kind of reminded me of like a chameleon. Um, I kept this because I want to see what it looks like on this other Tenogen skin. But just for the sake of looking. Ooh. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. But it is a little weird, a little abstract. But uh, it's not awful. But you could play around with it. I would take away the orange metallic. Um, but the weird maroon emerald kind of design. Kind of. Is interesting. I don't know. All right, jump over to that C slot. Ooh, something kind of goat-like, green, nature-esque, and oh, that comes across pretty good. A very dark color scheme with an interesting, like a uh, greenish, greenish yellow metallic. That's not bad. Not bad. Eh, probably not for me though. Probably not for me though. Too dark. All right, and then lastly, we'll jump over to my final Oberon, which I think, yeah, we have a bunch of bunch of slots over here. We'll do a little bit of randomizing. I don't want the video to go too long, but let's jump in, see what happens. Transfer this one over. Oh, that's not bad. Great metallic colors, I think. Um, comes across pretty good. And let's just jump over to the B slot. Oh, very dark, very dark, dark, dark. Let's see what happens with this one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, dark blue and kind of this uh, this this metallic color I think goes well together. Maybe would want to brighten this up a little bit because I feel like you can't really appreciate some of the designs if, uh, because of how dark it is. But actually, the back looks kind of interesting. You're gonna see this part of the frame most more than anything unless you cover it up with a cyandana. So um, that's a you know, thing to keep in mind. Jump over to the C slot. Something kind of strange and abstract. Let's see what happens when this one comes across. Ooh. All right. I don't want the blue. Like, the blue should go. But overall, the the red and this kind of sandy color seem to kind of go together fairly well. I could play around with that. But uh, we'll keep going. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There we go. This one, I think, is going to be good, right? Yeah. That does look good. That looks awesome. Kind of, kind of regal. Kind of very, um, I don't know, kind of like godlike. Uh, this would be kind of a good skin to, uh, a good color scheme, fashion frame to put in that, um, that floating angelic looking, uh, animation. Uh, that I think it's from Titania. Maybe, maybe you could do a wispy floaty deal and it would look very godlike. Um, like a deity. Of course, Oberon being the fairy king, 
the god king of goat king i don't know whatever Ooh, feminine oberon let's see what happens um okay i'm not i'm, I'm not completely opposed to it this very reddish color for the metallic i would change but like the feminine oberon kind of design i don't hate it i don't hate it it's definitely weird probably something i wouldn't run but i don't hate it uh all right interesting and then f slot last but not least yeah, it happens to be a bit of a white and blue but we'll see what happens um oh actually that's different because the color placement is different the colors are a little bit different too but this kind of uh, uh this blue slightly teal this blue uh, a little bit more flat but looks good where you know in the positions it's in across the helmet looks good on the chest it looks good shoulders it looks good. pretty good overall um the dark blue though i might swap i would well i'd probably swap out with something but overall not bad really cool silver metallic though really cool silver metallic so all right so from there we'll do a little bit of uh randomizations so bam 10 plat down the drain let's go random Ooh, white and red kind of a gray and red but uh see what happens here uh, okay not awful not awful i don't mind it too much but interesting uh we'll keep going uh ooh, like a black and yellow kind of scheme oh kind of kind of changes changes quite a bit but uh yeah um i will say i am a big fan you guys saw that even though i was running over on prime um i did have his default helmet on for some of my designs because i really do like the default helmet um this is a really cool and intricate helmet um it does look a little i say a little bulky i mean it's kind of supposed to be large and stand out because you know like deer antlers and stuff like a big rack looks really really cool um you know kind of intimidating but uh in the right color scheme and maybe with some attachments that doesn't make the helmet look so bulky compared to the sleek slim kind of design um, would probably help fill this out but um, this one specifically remove the metallic make the metallic something different and i think that looks good a little similar to what we had before but i think that would look come come across really well but uh keep going something a bit strange sometimes the strange ones are the are the ones that come across the best so uh, we'll take a look as we go uh, a little, little strange a little abstract not quite feeling it um green green kind of design Ooh, ooh. i mean the the colors are a little too much on the same palette a little too similar but the idea of creating a uh like a forest i don't know like a godlike forest deity or something like that would be kind of neat uh those colors aren't so bad um yeah 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 um let's keep going it's not too bad too strange okay okay um oh let's see what happens here Oop. go oh not bad it's uh you know nothing that stands out too crazy but um an overall all right kind of color scheme maybe the yellow is a little or the like the gold is a little too crazy um i really like this bluish grayish whatever this color is uh kind of uh the way it goes together so maybe I would water this down, maybe change it completely. The black metallic or really dark metallic is not my favorite, but I could play with that. Maybe lighten it up, maybe go a little silver. But it's kind of neat, actually, it's even the base Oberon. So I might play around with that in the future. Uh, we'll jump over to the E slot, do a little bit more randomizing. Ooh, what happens here? okay eh, dark oh, kind of kind of cool to play around with the idea of the orange and blackish kind of design but i don't know oh okay here oh that's kind of cool that is that's kind of cool um i may want to play around with similar colors to this primary um it's a very dark brownish maroonish kind of color so I may want to lighten that up a little bit, but overall that does seem kind of elegant to some degree. So I might keep that at one as well. So, all right, jump over to the F slot and uh, we'll probably go through 
find one or two more good ones and we'll we'll call it there but I uh, don't want the video to go too long but thank you guys a lot for your uh, you know your feedback and checking out these videos um, really really excited to get through and do some more of these because you guys seem to like them as well plus of course when I'm going through and trying to create a new build or fashion frame um, you know I, I tend to do this quite a bit so I figured I would show you guys every time I do it so this one a bit edgy uh, maybe not for you but I mean I don't really like the edgy colors all that much so uh, yeah see what happens here a little strange a little abstract yeah yeah, yeah. Um, all right one more good one okay maybe we go a little bit plain and bare that's not bad not bad it's a little similar to uh, my one Fey arc color scheme so I think I'll keep going but yeah keep going one more good one let's find one more good one okay I definitely didn't like the pink metallic but the other two colors like these two might be able to play around with and make work but uh, all right come on one good one one that I go wow that'd be awesome not quite there a little sandy we kind of had a little bit of that going on this is kind of down the avenue that's not bad that's kind of cool uh, dark with some blue uh, kind of seen something a little similar to the the yellows let's see something a little different something a little different uh, this is a little similar to something we had already similar to something we had already Ooh, black and yellow once again okay a little strange um, keep going keep going find one more good one more good one yeah interesting a little similar to something we already had Ooh, wow what's gonna happen here oh no get away okay uh one more come on come on oh that was like full-on edgelord somebody wanted to see that one i am sorry my clicker finger is way too much Ooh, what the hell what 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 no 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 shouldn't have even bothered all right go a couple more times i probably could have checked out that teal and black one that would have been maybe a little strange but all right a little plain no 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 one more come on come on i want to find a good one one that i don't want to get rid of because i fall in love with it but um maybe we won't we won't get that maybe we won't get that this episode uh, remove the purple play around with it could work uh it's a little bit close to the edginess so maybe someone wants to see it no 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 one wants that no one wants that okay one more one more give me something good mr randomizer this is close to the white and blues yeah something good even if it looks gorgeous on the default over on prime then at least i find something that i love and i'll keep anyways but that doesn't look too awful okay one more one more one more might not happen might not happen too many clicks too many clicks let's go one more good one all right well it doesn't look like it's gonna happen for us today but uh, make sure you stay tuned. We're going to do another quick look for the other skins as well for the uh, the Wendigo from Wendigo from Voljorn and the Beast Buster uh, Blade of the Lotus. So make sure you stay tuned. Check those videos out if you uh, you know would like to see some Oberon fashion design deals. Um, be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys again in the next video. Blah.